welcome back. It's finally happening, my lipstick declutter video. In many videos, I've talked about how overwhelmed I feel with all the makeup that I have and how I wanted to declutter it. It finally happened. I filmed it all and I can't wait to share it with you all. I'm going to start off with the lipstick declutter. With all the decluttering happening, it is a bit of a mess with my makeup so I am going to be organizing the makeup and then I will show you my full final collection after everything is put in a nice place properly. By the way, if you are noticing, my background is a little bit different. I'm sitting right next to a bunk bed. I'm basically turning my office into my little one's room because the older one who is going to be soon turning 12 she was sharing her room with the younger one who is going to be turning seven and uh, she wanted to change the aesthetic of her room. I can't believe how much she has changed in a year. Literally from a little girl, cute, to a preteen who wants a very chill vibe room with Stranger Things posters and lights and projector on the ceiling with cool lighting and uh, I'm happy to give both girls their own room. So this room is going to be super cutesy with Peppa Pig and stuffed animals and her room is going to be for someone who is a little bit older and does not consider herself a little girl anymore. So I am trying to figure out where to put all my makeup, what the background's gonna be because this room is just not gonna be suitable for filming anymore. <laughs> But now that I've decluttered and my makeup collection is significantly smaller, I think it won't be too hard to organize my makeup and make it look pretty. So after I have posted all my decluttering videos, I will show you guys my full and final makeup collection. I got rid of a lot of lipsticks, like a lot. So Getting rid of them definitely made me realize why it was overwhelming and most of the stuff I wasn't even using so I am very happy to let all of them go. So without further ado, let's get started and uh, this is going to be a long video so get yourself comfortable or listen to the video while you're working because we're going to be here for a while. Let's get started. Three baskets here. One basket is going to be for me to actually keep for use. The second basket is for me to keep for possible future posts or videos. And then the third basket is definitely the trash. Oh my god, you guys, I am ready. Let's get started with the first container. This is a lipstick from CoverGirl. And I am extremely, extremely bored of CoverGirl. So pretty much all CoverGirl lipsticks for me are at this point trash except for if I had a new CoverGirl Outlast the liquid lipsticks the liquid lipsticks are actually pretty good but they last only for about six months and then the formula gets bad so this is definitely older than six months so this is going into trash item beauty this is a nice lip gloss but nothing special so I'll keep it for a possible future item beauty video. Belle and Arjan, these lip glosses are nice. They're small brand. And this is a very nice light lip gloss, but I don't like that the wording actually started to fade off pretty quickly. So, and this is pretty old at this point. So this is gonna be in the trash. There's another one. Ooh, this is pretty. One of these lipsticks didn't smell so good. Let me see if this one was it. Oh yeah, this is definitely gone bad, so I won't keep it. Trash. This one was nothing special. This is the Glazen Lip Glaze. I just thought this one was annoying. You kind of twist it up and then you get this and there's nothing special about it. Okay, these are colorful lipsticks by Milani. I think these were from their Halloween collection. I'm probably not gonna wear this color, but it might make a really beautiful photo shoot. So, 
black radiance i also have a bunch of colorful lipsticks from black radiance these are actually quite nice and they have the most interesting colors and these are metallic lipsticks so if you like doing creative colorful makeup looks then these will be really cool for you and they come in all different sorts of colors but definitely not gonna be wearing these on an everyday basis more yeah more black radiance there's another milani golden one here's more of the black radiance ones yeah color go cover girl trash cover girl trash color pop ultra blotted lip i did not enjoy these at all it's like a very light liquid lip they just got really dry and not so pretty on my lips. Argent lip glosses. Expired. Okay, you see, there are like so many of these. As you, um, this is Milani. These are what I was talking about from Black Radiance. They just have all these very interesting colors. These CoverGirl lipsticks, the metallic ones, are actually really nice. But I'm just really bored of this brand when it comes to lipsticks. And just bored of this brand, period. Let me know if you guys like anything from CoverGirl. Yeah, here's another one that my mom actually used to use. Like... 20 years ago <laughs> oh lord here's more black radiance more M milani black radiance black radiance see these are like such pretty colors okay i see some oh here's more cover girl the formula is not bad for the CoverGirl lipsticks, except for the creamy CoverGirl lipsticks. I did not like the cream formula. Here's the CoverGirl. Is this the Outlast one? Yeah. Yeah, these go bad in about six months. So you really got to use them up. Oh, this is Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. Hmm. I don't think there was anything really to complain about this. And I'm not sure if I'm actually going to use Ofra as a brand in the future. So I'm going to say goodbye to this one. All right. I, oh, here's another black radiance one. I think this was like $2. It's a nice lipstick and beautiful color, but it's very old. Okay. I see some essence lipsticks. I actually think Essence lipsticks are pretty nice and they're so affordable. I'll definitely keep the Essence lipsticks for a future post. Now there is one Essence lipstick that I did not like and that's this one. This one instantly dries like within seconds on your lips. I did not have a good time with this one so Unless I want to do a video of makeup that I hate <laughs> or makeup fails, then I can keep that for that. This is a nice lipstick from e.l.f. I have no complaints. Pretty nice formula. I don't think e.l.f.'s lippies are that popular, so I probably will not be doing any sort of lippy video or post on e.l.f. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Here are some lippies from Essence. So I'm only going to keep these for future posts. This one might be discontinued, but this one I think still exists. I think this is like, okay, this one is, this is nude and in the shade Legendary. This was actually a pretty good formula. So, so far, there's nothing in this pile that I'm keeping 
for myself. Milani. Milani's lipsticks are the best. The formula is so comfortable and long lasting. All right, I think I might keep it in my use pile. Although lately I've really been using Milani's color fetish lipsticks, the matte ones, but uh, I think I'll keep this one. Which one is this? This one is, I don't know what brand this is. Oh, Smashbox. All right, that's just like a weird color. Mm -mm. I don't know why I got this. There's a YSL one. I think I had not liked the formula of this. This is their matte formula. But I'm willing to give it another try. But I think I did not like this one though. Now this one might look similar to Milani's new lipsticks, but it's actually quite different. First of all, the packaging of this one is way lighter and cheap feeling whereas their new ones actually feel a little bit more luxe and this formula is very very emollient look at that shine i might keep it for a post but i don't plan on using this I feel like it's a little bit slippery on the lips. This is Morphe's lipstick with Avani Greg collab. Is this the black one? Yeah, I'm just not gonna wear black lipstick. Come on. <laughs> Will I keep it for Halloween? I think when Halloween comes along, I will probably end up buying. I'll keep it for a post. This full cover girl, I'm just over it. Goodbye. This Too Faced one, I'm only gonna keep it because of the packaging and everyone seems to know these. So these, this one would be a great for Instagram posts, but these are liquid lipsticks, great packaging. Packaging is very nice, but it is a liquid lipstick, so it is drying on your lips. But if I pair it with a lip gloss, it works out fine. This e.l.f. one is actually quite good. This is their Hydrating Core Lip Shine, and it does look really pretty on the lips. When I apply this on my lips, my lips just look very nourished and healthy. But normally I tend to wear lipsticks that are long-lasting, and this is not a long-lasting one, so I might keep it for just for a future post. All right, I brought some more to declutter here. These are more like spring colors. And in this pile right off the bat, I can see all of these Milani lipsticks. They are an amazing formula, but I am so into their new lipsticks that I'm just going to get rid of the old. And these are probably about one and a half year old. These are beautiful colors, beautiful formula. So if you don't actually like their new formula, you can definitely go for these. Packaging is nice and they come in different finishes. There's some metallic ones, matte ones, more comfortable satin ones. Very good lipsticks. This ColourPop Fresh Kiss Glossy Lip Stain. It was just kind of annoying to apply. It was a very liquidy, which I thought was kind of odd for a stain. And I think maybe it was liquidy because it's a glossy lip stain. I did not like it. I didn't think it was easy to apply, but I will keep it for any future posts. ColourPop glosses are actually pretty nice, but I think this one's actually pretty old and um, I want to explore new glosses, so I haven't really been reaching into this, but this is actually a pretty nice gloss. Lip oil I haven't used much. This one doesn't give you as much coverage on the lips as compared to the gloss. I can show you real quick. Here is what their lip oil looks like. Like you can see, it's not a whole lot of coverage, it's pretty sheer. 
which I think makes sense because it's a lip oil. I'm really not a sheer kind of girl, <laughs> woman. But look at this. This actually reminds me of one of the Kylie lip glosses. Look at that, so nice and thick and gives you a nice coverage on your lips too. I love it. Ooh, <laughs> this makes me want more. But I recently got Juvia's Place lip glosses and I have been enjoying them so much. And those are super long lasting. So I don't think I'm gonna be reaching into any ColourPop lip gloss. All right, these are just more Milani lipsticks. Here are some Essence Lippies. These, the packaging is really nice. These are their Water Kiss. It's a very interesting formula. So it goes on your lips very thin. And it creates this sort of shine on your lips. But then it also dries down. It's like a dry down but shiny finish. Which is really strange. I would love to give another one a try if these have not been discontinued. Lately I've been into more of the higher end and luxury brands. So I know that I'm not going to be using this. So I'm just going to keep it for future posts. Here's another co CoverGirl one. This one was a good formula. I think this was... This is their Melting Pout Vinyl Bow. Okay. This Revlon 16 hour color stay actually stays on your lips for a very long time. It does not budge. So if you really need something on your lips that does not move, then this is a good one to have. But I'm getting rid of it. It's old. This one's pretty famous. This is the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon and it is a pretty long lasting matte finish on your lips. And it is like a crayon and it twists up. So I would say this is a pretty good product. So if you're looking for a long lasting matte lipstick, then this is a pretty good choice. And I only have one. I'm gonna keep it because it's a good it's a good lipstick. Oh, this is, I think this is ColourPop. Yes, it's a tint color pop. It actually looks pretty nice and glossy on the lips. It's not gonna be super long lasting, but if you're running out for an errand, then this is a really nice glossy finish. Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of this one. It like barely has any information. Like it's all rubbed off. This L'Oreal lipstick is so much fun. It is the plumping one. This is their color rich plump and shine lipstick in the shade Pattaya Plump. It feels so tingly on your lips and the color is absolutely beautiful. It's very shiny on your lips. I tend to not wear shiny lipsticks, so I know I'm not gonna reach out for this, but if you like that, shiny glossy look on your lips then this is a really nice one and look at the packaging it's a very nice affordable lipstick all right these alme ones are really fun and they're good formulas if you're looking for good drugstore lipsticks i would say these alme ones are really nice and they come in different finishes. There's the cream finish, these really cute packaging, and different finishes. There's a cream one, and I believe there's also a matte one. Just really good. So if you're looking for good drugstore lipsticks, then you have these Almay ones are really good. Milani is really good. The L'Oreal one that I just showed you is really good. The ColourPop lip glosses are really nice. And if you're looking for something super affordable, then the Essence lipsticks are also really good. This basket has all of my red drugstore affordable lipsticks. So let's get through this. This one, I don't even know what brand this is, but I remember seeing a YouTube video about this woman who showed this lipstick as the most beautiful lipstick in the world. And she got so many views based off this very 
short clip clip about the lipstick oh this is hank and henry oh wow i didn't even know that <laughs> this is a really pretty lipstick i'm only gonna keep this just because of the way it looks i don't even remember what the formula was like yeah color pop glossy lip stain nope Colourpop lippy sticks are super nice formula and they're just so comfortable and easy to use and they do come in different finishes this one is a matte one but I'm not really going to use it I'm looking to use more of the higher end luxury lippies I did not like this Colourpop just a tint one I felt like that it wore off pretty patchy and did not look pretty but I'm only I'm gonna keep it for any sort of ColourPop lippy post. Milani, these I'm getting rid of. Flower Beauty, this one did not wow me. I don't even remember anything about this one. But I think it was a nice, comfortable formula. I don't remember any complaints about it, but I also don't remember being wowed. I don't like this cover. It feels very cheap. I mean, it is an affordable brand, but. There are affordable brands that do a better job with packaging. LA Splash. It's not really a brand I use much. As a content creator, keeping this is not really that useful for me. Pretty color though. But as you can see, I don't even know if I ever use this lipstick. I'm just going to get rid of it. Oh, this was a special release by e.l.f. where there's a lip liner and a lippy. I don't remember anything too amazing about it, so I'm getting rid of it. Here's another CoverGirl Matte Idol. These are good. The liquid CoverGirl lipsticks are good. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is an Essence one. Oh, here's the cover. This is the shiny Milani one, so I'll keep it for a post. This is actually a really nice one. This is the red one from the Avani Greg collab for Morphe. This is actually a really nice red lipstick, but I have so many red lipsticks. There's no need for me to keep this for an everyday use. Ooh, what is this? I actually wanted to explore this a little bit more. This is the liquid lipstick from Milani, and this is the matte formula. I want to test this out, actually. I really like the packaging. The Joelle ones are super cute. Packaging is nice, and I don't remember any, co any complaints about the formula. I'm going to keep this one just for posts. Ooh, the Hocus Pocus ColourPop lipsticks. Colourpop lipsticks are a really good formula too. I'm gonna keep these for posts. Covergirl out. More Covergirl. Sigma. I don't even remember anything about this, but I'll keep it for a potential future Sigma post. I highly doubt it though. Oh, I need to test this out, but I'm not, I'm probably not going to. I'm just gonna get rid of it. I should still at least try it out before getting rid of it. <laughs> Here's a blotted lip. So I'll keep it for a post, but I didn't really like that one. Milani lipsticks, I like. Push it. Oh, I think this was from a Salt and Peppa collection. I have way too many reds. I don't need this. What is this? I don't even know this brand. Dia or Leah? L-I-Y-A? Leah's? This is a L'Oreal lipstick. L'Oreal Color Rich. Okay, this looks really boring to me. This is out. Revlon? I don't know. I mean, this looks like a decent lipstick, but it also looks very boring. This e.l.f. one is actually really good and fun. I love the packaging. It's just super old, but I'll keep it for posts. I do like the ColourPop lippy sticks, but I'll just keep them for post. I'm, I don't really use them on a regular basis. All right, so, so far, oh, they're 
these wire ones were not really a good idea but so far i've kept only five of which two of them are just gonna try out to see how it goes i'll probably get oh no i'm, I'm gonna keep this one but i feel like most of these i will probably end up getting rid of except for the maybelline crayon and the ysl all right so up next are a bunch of lip glosses and I believe I have a video on all of my lip glosses. So I'm going to make this one super quick. Anything that is just boring, I'm getting rid of because I'm really trying to get rid of my makeup. So NYX, don't remember anything about it. I'm getting rid of this one. This Pacifica one, really pretty packaging, but this color was useless. ColourPop Ultra Lippy Glossy Lip. Very good long-lasting formula. I just don't like the brush applicator. So I'm only going to keep one for future posts. I think I'll keep this one. These LA Colors Lip Oils were a lot of fun to film. And I have used it. It's a very comfortable lip oil. So if you're looking for a really affordable lip oil, I would say this is one of the best ones out there. But I'm not going to use it, and I highly doubt that I will do a post on this. So I'm actually going to get rid of them. Sad to say goodbye. But look at these. These are so pretty. I highly, highly recommend these if you're looking for something that's good quality at a good price. Black Radiance, these lippies. Nothing bad, but I'm just kind of bored of this. Ooh, Milani lip glosses are so good. They're so thick, and they really grip onto your lips. So this one, I think, is almost finished. So I think I'm going to get I'm gonna get rid of this one because it's almost finished, and I barely use lip glosses. This Essence one is a nice, comfortable finish, but I'm not going to use this color lip gloss. I'm going to get rid of it. This BH Cosmetics one was a nice one, but I don't remember what I liked about it. And BH Cosmetics is gone, so I'm just going to get rid of this. These Revolution Pro lip glosses are so cute. I have a video on these, so I will put the link down below but um pretty nice comfortable decently long lasting uh not the most long lasting but not average either a pretty decent grip on your lips and the packaging is so nice i love this packaging because you can actually keep it upright or lay it down whatever you like very nice so I will only keep it for like pictures because I don't really use lip gloss as much. This is the LA Colors lip oil I'm getting rid of. These Almy ones were a decent formula that last a long time. Like I like these. I think they were good. Except for this one actually smelled really bad. But uh, they are decent lip glosses but I'm not going to be using this. I don't remember anything about this Estee Lauder one. I don't think there was anything special about it, so I'm going to get rid of this one. Here is a Black Radiance Oil Primer. Just pretty basic stuff, so I'm going to get rid of this one. Rimmel, I don't even know why I got this. This brand is just really boring. Here's Belle and Argent. I'm kind of done with this these are very old lip glosses and as you can see the letters are faded this catrice one is just like painful so i'm getting rid of this this is like a plumping lip gloss and it is pretty painful more more color pop but i'm gonna get rid of this just because of the shade and it's really old and i just need one if at all these BH Cosmetics one, these were so good. These are their so extra lip glosses. Very nice, very comfortable to hold. I love the packaging and how big 
and round and fat these are. They're just, they feel really nice and luxe in your hands. Good quality, good formula. I am sad to see these go. Here's, I think this is ColourPop. It's all gone, so I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't remember anything about this one. This is CoverGirl, and I'm just gonna get rid of this. This is a So Glossy a lip gloss from ColourPop. So long wearing. It lasts like at least five hours, I would say, on your lips. Like a very nice lippy. But it looks ugly right now, so I'm getting rid of it. Nothing special about this lip oil from e.l.f. This CBD soothing lip oil. And it's probably expired. Here's another Alme one. Again, if you're looking for... Alme lippies are pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied with their lip glosses and their lippies. Pretty nice. But I really don't have anything from Alme. And I think before I ever have enough Alme makeup to do a post, this will def definitely expire by then. I'm gonna get rid of it. VH Cosmetics. There was nothing special about this lipstick. This is a color block one, so I'm getting rid of this. Here's more of the Revolution Pro. I love the packaging of this. Very nice. And it's a beautiful lip gloss. So I'm keeping that in future posts. Juvia's Place. This is really nice. I remember this one being hard to take out, as you can see. But they updated their lip glosses. They even changed the applicator. And I'm in love with their new lip glosses. So I'm going to get rid of this one because I have four new ones from them. And I absolutely love them. And I will definitely be using those. All right, so now what I have are lip balms. There might be some lip glosses in there, like this one, Complex Culture. Getting rid of this. I don't remember anything about it. This one is Bali Balm. I felt like it was not super thick to help my very, very dry lips. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Most of this stuff I know I'm going to get rid of because I hardly ever use any of this. These e.l.f. ones were nice they were fun you know they had different scents and slight sheer color on in them this is the elf ride or dye lip balm but they're so hard to squeeze out that was my only complaint like it, this one came out better easier now but during the winter time it's so hard to take it out but it's a decent formula last on your lips maybe for like three hours nothing super long lasting but a decent amount of time so I will keep this for posts, but I'm not going to be using them. They're just very hard to work with. This one is Seraphine Botanicals Apple Balm Glow Lip Mask. It just doesn't feel very thick and hydrating for me, and I need thick and hydrating, so I'm going to get rid of this. These e.l.f. ones were just part of like a holiday collection, these lip balms. Pretty nice, I would say. Decent formula, but they're just too old. And I'm going to get rid of these. These Catrice, they're fairly new. These are lip cares. They're called the Powerful Five. And they have five different really good ingredients. Something called Hyaluron, Watermelon, Goji Berry, Cucumber, and Ginger Root. I think the packaging is really nice. It's sort of this paper packaging and uh, they look nice on the lips. I was not super thrilled with the smell that they have. I did use them for a while. You know, I think these are good ones to wear when you're working from home. And um, But I don't reach out for them anymore and I'm going to keep them just for posts. Here's more of the e.l.f. ones that I'm going to keep for like future Instagram posts. These Alme. You know what? I realized that all the Elme lipsticks or lippies, I have no complaints. They're actually really good. The lipsticks are good. The lip oils were good. And these are so good. These are the Elme Color and Care Lip Oil and Stick. I might just keep these. I think these might be too old, but these last a long time. Surprisingly, they last a long time on your lips. And they feel very nourishing. They are color and care they do give a nice color to your lips they last a long time i love these i think these are really really good so i'm going to keep these 
I bought a bunch of Neutrogena lippies just to possibly do a video on them and then I ended up not doing it and I'm just like really bored just looking at these so I am gonna get rid of these. This is an Honest Beauty Balm. I don't think this was super long lasting. It's one of those lippies that look dark in the container but when you put them on your lips they're actually very sheer color. I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is Estee Lauder Lip Volumizer. I don't remember anything interesting about it, so goodbye. This elf one is part of that, the other two elf ones. This was like a holiday set trio, so these are gone. This Dr. Paul one, it was not bad. I think on the lips is good. It's supposed to also be for your cheeks, I think. For lips, cheeks. I think it was way too greasy for your cheeks. I'm gonna get rid of this. This pumpkin spice lip balm from Milani was so much fun. I think it's too old. Or it was from last year, fall. And fall is coming up soon, so I'm gonna keep it for a future Instagram post. This was really fun. Very nice scent and a decent formula. Ooh, these Catrice ones, these are good. The quality of the packaging is so nice and they do feel pretty nice on the lips. Like I feel like they provide a nice balmy cover on my lips to keep them moisturized. I do really like these. I think they only have two. This one, the Hemp and Mint Glow Lip Balm and then I think the other one is like Watermelon. It's a pink one. These are really, really good. These are comparable to high-end lipsticks when it comes to the packaging and how good it feels in your hands. And the formula is good too. I don't know what this is. This is from Context. And I'm getting tired of these. Out. Leave. Butter gloss is nice, but this is way too old. I'm gonna get rid of this. Plump and Blur Lip Treatment. I don't know why I got this. This is a Joelle Lippy. It's actually really pretty and I lost the cover. So I'm going to get rid of this lipstick. All right, it's finally done. I let go of whatever I needed to let go. I actually found more lipsticks in another part of the house, which I um, decluttered, which I did not get a chance to film. And then a lot of those lipsticks that I was saving for posting purposes for Instagram, I actually let most of them go also because as a content creator, I feel like I'm always going to be buying new makeup. I'm never gonna be like, oh my God, I don't have enough makeup to create content. So if I'm not really gonna be using those lipsticks, it was time for me to let them go. So I let most of those go as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that was entertaining for you and also helpful. If you liked the video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Thank you. Bye.